In the last episode, Elise gets her school testing done. We do boat repairs, we pick up our mail, we see family and friends, enjoy the sunshine, and then we head to Warm Springs. In this episode, we get to enjoy family time in Warm Springs, see lots of birds, a whale visits us in the bay, and a helicopter comes in. Okay, I actually shed one layer. Now it's time to go visit with the neighbors and they say hello. Is this just clipped Milo and Patches' his nails. Now Milo's on an adventure. Last time he was here, he was in a wheelchair. It's nice to see that he's able to walk without one and he's walking quite well. Let's go, buddy. Yeah, this one feels so nice. It is high tide. That's like the highest tide we've seen it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there is. Went from a serious minus tide. <laughs> it's almost a flat walk. Good gravy. The, the thing is touching the water. the bathhouse. Now has water under it. Yep. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It's just easy to walk. Yeah. What are we doing? We're going to the bathhouse. This is after our nice hot bath. Elise looks so relaxed. <laughs> She's also doing massive studies right now. So we get two nice days in Warm Springs. Today is day number two. Day number one was the day we arrived. So Austin washed down the boat and we did a couple of uh, hot tubs and now Austin is getting the waterproofing on the canvas because it is going to be raining for two weeks here supposedly and we haven't waterproofed it since we got back to the boat so we want to make sure it's nice and good. Look at that beautiful job. And the nice scenery with the waterfall. Last night, right before bed, we had a whale that came in here. It was so cool. I got some video of it. It's lunch feeding. <laughs> very, very cool. All the locals came out. That's all three of them that are here right now. <laughs> I don't think they live here year round, but they just got back. One of them is the caretaker for the winter months and the other two just showed up, I think, recently. Anyway, looks good, Austin. And I just cleaned like two days worth of dishes that we haven't gotten done. The Lisa's back was hurting her, so. Enjoying our last sunny day. We have expanded our living room to the end of the dock. Yep. It's nice out here. I can't say for how long. As soon as we picked up and got inside, <laughs> turned around, there's a helicopter coming over the waterfalls. That's a first. That's pretty cool.
time to make taco dinner. You're hungry. Austin is exploring. He loves this place so much. He could definitely live here. Okay, as forecasted, woke up this morning and it is raining. So we're on our way to the hot baths this morning. Actually, slept in until like six, which is amazing. And uh, having the generator on for about a half an hour or so, we're 52 degrees inside. It's almost warm. <laughs> so. Now, Austin is up at the baths, getting them ready. I just woke up a leaves. And, oh, rock bear spray. That would be a good idea. Not that we would hopefully have to use it down this far, but they have been seen down this far. Firstly, I don't know, wish I had it when I spot a grizzly bear on the trail. I don't know. I would. wouldn't want to have to worry about it if I spotted a black bear on the trail either. Those guys are even more ornery. At least decided she's not going to come up this morning. She's a little too cozy in her bed. Well, the birds are still out. Man, they're so cool looking. I think these are buffalo heads black and whites but you can see when it's a low tide how close these rocks are to this dock it is very shallow here so this is like dinghy only area for sure and even on this side this side is pretty low you would not want to have anything major drafting on this side that's for sure actually is it too cold today thank you so one thing with rain, if it's not snowing, it's probably fairly warm. I really, really, really enjoyed the dryness. Those cabins are amazingly in great shape for the fact that they've been sitting like that forever. The helicopter and the boat are going to be here for a couple days. Down there with us. It's cool. Time to get warm and see if these achy joints stop aching for a little bit. Hot tubs do. Oh, really, really good. So funny to see a helicopter there. Pretty cool though. Nice little bird. And I'm feeling really good. I was so sore this morning and cold. It wasn't as cold as yesterday, but it feels good to get warmed up. Just refilling up the tub. So you come in and you clean them out with this brush. 
there's some bleach sitting outside or bring your own and then when you're done you empty the tub clean it again plug it up for the next person and because it's run by like a homeowners association you can drop in donations in a little bucket that they can keep them maintained yeah pretty nice there's three of them this one comes from a different spring so it always looks a little bit green it still feels really good and these first two are always pretty clear now we're heading back to the boat today is an official work day i'll see you in a few minutes i'll make breakfast and then i'll get busy working on videos okay. elise is doing homework and i'm not sure what austin's doing yet but i know we got to do the generator tomorrow didn't see the whale last night but we'll see what we see today sea lions haven't been around i haven't seen any river otters except for the dead one that's on the beach which is sad I don't, normally there's a whole family of sea otters running along the shore here. Sometimes they're kind of a nuisance, but they're they're fun to watch. <laughs> and we have at least three sea lions that patrol this bay here, so every day we see something different. All right, now on to the bacon and eggs. <laughs> One for good measure. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are like, Mom, what's dog. going on? Come here, let's get you all tucked in. I'll save you. I'll save you, boys. Yep. Uh, updating the captain's log. I've got too many post it notes everywhere. Elise is going to be baking. Austin's going back to the hot baths because it's cold. Yes, the only. Majorly high tide. Crazy high. Spent done with the hot baths. Felt fantastic. I don't think I've ever seen this high. It keeps getting higher every day. Crazy. So we had our first helicopter sighting and now we have our first big catamaran. The barge has arrived. Trying to help him load the barge. Reinforcements. ready to unload the pallets. There's a lot of stuff on there to unload. All the locals that are remaining are here to help. It's a project happening up the hill at the Whale Foundation and all this stuff just got delivered today. Got some fuel, some appliances, some lumber, and they are not two by fours. And a boatload of concrete. We've got uh, three residents. Uh, someone just pulled up from the fishing lodge and Austin and I, I guess. There's some people in the people who are delivering said they'd help too, so that's pretty cool. crazy mm -hmm. and they're gonna use the crane and they're gonna lift his fuel tanks up there they're empty they have all this woodwork right here and pipes that's not that big and this is all concrete well it's big when you're hauling it up the ramp right
tapping the dog. That was impressive. You're working on the bow light and all these little shore birds came in. I'll show you. It's cute. They're all sitting on the dock at the end. This isn't my big camera, but so cool. We'll see how close they let me get. Taking a little break all together. They're resting, so I don't really want to bother them. Wow, Elisa's got super stealth skills. She's taking a video with her phone camera. She's gotten so close. I decided to get the bigger camera. Let's see what we could get. They were piled on two of these full rails, and now they're all on one. Just resting up before they take their next flight. Yeah. Woke up this morning and we have sunshine. I'm so happy. This is, we've been here uh, a week today. No, a week tomorrow. We had the day we got here was sunny, the next day we got here was sunny, and then it was super rainy. But it's nice. Now we got some sunshine. It looks like maybe. We'll see how long. How long it lasts, but it's so pretty. Yes, like it. I can take this kind of weather. It's only 52 degrees in the salon right now, but with a little sunshine hitting the boat, it's going to warm up to probably 65. I know some people who would be horrified by that number. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> some things you get a little used to and other things, well, you just dress for it. So I'm wearing double layers again. Little foundation, got their assistants here. They're hauling their stuff up. And I have a couple other people that have come to help. We were trying to help yesterday, but there wasn't much to do. They were just loading it on the dock. Which was slightly scary, but they got it all up. And now the fuel tanks are off the dock. Most puppies are huge. You put your hand there for a reference too. Holy moly, it's a big bear. Yep. Brown bear.
Okay, it's Sunday, May 2nd. We've been at Warm Springs for a full week, just heading out of the bay. We were gonna try staying until Thursday, but Doc is getting a little crowded there. We got some phone calls that we need to make and some internet. Ugh. So we're leaving early. Boy, it's been a crazy full trip. Did get three days of sunshine here, which was nice, but now it's supposed to rain for another week. Anyway, it's been beautiful. Lots of footage, lots of things to show. I just see a lot of birds this trip, so it's really cool. Glad to see my first time up at the lake. But it's still icy up there, so we can't use the paddleboard or the kayak yet. Uh, anyway, we're on our way to the next bay, and then we'll head to Petersburg. In the next episode, we head to Petersburg, stopping over in Portage Bay. We spot orcas and a black bear. When we get to Petersburg, we get our bow light replaced, make our phone calls, provision, and use the internet. We spot dangerous waters, and we head back to Warm Springs. <laughs>